In this video, I had pro players newers 1v2 each rank until he loses, and the results might not be what you guys expect. Be sure to follow newers with the links down below in the description, and while you're at it, subscribe and turn notifications on so that you guys don't miss any new videos as I do post daily here on the channel. If you guys enjoy content like this, then please consider liking the video as it really does help me out a lot, and enjoy the rest of the video. Before the video continues, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Apex Gaming PCs. I've come together with Apex Gaming PCs to bring you guys my very own line of custom gaming computers at three different price ranges, giving you excellent performance in Siege and all of your other favorite games. With my line of PC, console players now have affordable options to get into PC gaming, allowing them to hit champ or even pursue content creation if they wanted to. So use code SHOCK at checkout to save $250 on any PC on Apex's website. For more information, there will be a link down below in the description. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off on the first game. We've got Vorkles and Eclipse as our two copper players. As you guys can see, these are both copper players currently. And I've got them up against Newers. We're going to be starting off on Oregon. Newers is going to be on attack, and the two copper players are going to be on defense. I probably didn't explain it in the intro, so I'll quickly explain the rules here. There basically are none. If Anybody on either team doesn't want a specific operator played, whether it's a shield, blackbeard, clash, whatever it may be, they have to ban it here. All ops are available to be played. It's a best of one, so we're only going to be doing this map, and then we'll move on to the next rank. And it's first of four, so it's just uh, basically ranked rules. Very simple. Alrighty, round one. Looks like the copper is going to go downstairs, picking up the mirror and the Malusi. New is going to be on the IQ. So a little bit of backstory for the two copper players. Um, I'm having my editor Dapper help me choose the players for this just to make things a little bit easier on the back end for me. And from what he has told me, both of these copper players are brand new to PC. This is their first season on PC. So that shall be a little bit interesting for them. I wish them the best of luck. Obviously, we know Newers. I think he's the top-rated pro league player in the NAL right now. He's an absolute demon. Probably has, like, the best mechanics in NA right now. Um, and he's up against two copper players that have never played PC before. So, I honestly wish these two the best of luck. And he, Newers also informed me that he is going to be trying his absolute hardest. He said he's taking no L's. Not a single L. So he plans to make it all the way to the champions because uh, remember if newers does lose even a single map throughout this entire video doesn't matter how far along he is if he loses even once he is going to be dc'd and that is the end of the video um speaking of dc'd looks like volcrolls or however you pronounce his name just disconnected which is highly unfortunate i'm not going to rehost we're just going to keep this going and we'll get him back in the next round Right now, Nero is trying to push in through the laundry side. Oh, that Malusi. Wow. <laughs> All right. And that is that. Didn't even have to look at him. Literally didn't even have to see him. I'm one going to Newers, And let's hopefully get uh, the other copper player back in here. So it is the actual 1v2 that we were looking for. Alrighty. So little update. Unfortunately, Vorkles, uh, which was Eclipse's teammate, uh, was not able to finish out the game. He was having some internet issues. So shout out to him for playing. I appreciate you coming out, taking the time to play. Uh, we're going to be subbing him out with Rub Her Nuts. Right name. So he's going to be Eclipse's teammate. I'm just calling him Eclipse. I, don't, I, I actually don't even think that's what his name is, but that's what it is to me now because that's how I read it the first time. Uh, we also counted the first rounds. Some people may be upset with that, but I think we kind of all know what's going to happen this this game specifically. So we're just going to pick it up from round one and go from there. All right, so the coppers are going to go back downstairs. This time they're going to be running the Alibi and the Goyo and Nurus is going to be switching off from that IQ onto Twitch. So I believe last time they were running Malusi and Mira, the coppers were. And I actually like that setup more than I like this one. I think the Goyo is good, but honestly, the time's not going to get down far enough for the Goyos to come into play, I think. It might be good to, like, delay newers for, like, 20 seconds or whatever, but it's not like they're going to be denying plants or anything with it. So I actually kind of preferred the setup they had before with the Mira and the Lucy. With that said, though, uh, I think their best option is just to try to... Frag out, 
play whatever guns they're comfortable with. So if they're comfortable with these guns, why not? So I think Newers went in through Freezer last time. And this time he seems to be pushing the front side. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. All right. So uh, Rub decided to barricade the door directly in front of Newers 30 seconds into the round. That was a questionable move. Newers has a drone directly on this guy. He did not hear it. Oh, this guy. Yeah, that was a kind of a smart play by him. Hold on. Give it to Eclipse right there. That was low-key a smart play. He almost had Newers with that one. You got to give it to him right there. That was smart. Not going to be able to beat out Newers in the aim duel, though. Second round going to him. Well played. All right, so this round, the defenders are going to once again switch it up from that alibi and the Goyo. They're going to be hopping onto the Valk as well as the Mozzie. And they're going to be going from downstairs up to the kids' dorms. And Newer is switching off from Twitch onto Sledge. Putting his drone up by White Stairs. Well, there goes one drone. Only has one drone left now. So he's got to be really careful how he uses this. Especially with the fact that Rub has more pests. So he's got to be very, very careful about how he uses this last drone. As it's his only source of formation. He was actually going to hop back onto that IQ. Let's see where he decides to push from. All right. We've got a drone bug. Cool. Uh, with that said, though, New is going to once again push from Junkyard side. Got to respect the movement from him, bro. He has such unique movement. Actually insane, bro. It, it's like, it's so over the top, but it just looks good. It doesn't look over the top like you see with a lot of these, like, uh, like, plat players trying to look good. Where they're, like, flicking around everything. Like, he actually like, makes it look good. With that being said, first kill going on to Rub. That's the Mozzie down. Clips desperately trying to stay alive here on this big one. He actually clutches it out. Numerous losing the gunfight to Eclipse. Very nice shot by him. That's the round three going to the copper players. It's now 2-1. Eclipse picking up the first kill for that team. Very well played to him. All right, so with last round and with Eclipse's clutch against Numerous, that is going to save him uh, and his team from going on to match point. So if Numerous were to win that round, They'd be on match point right now, and they'd be in a significantly worse position than they are now. So that was honestly a huge round by Eclipse. Very well played by him. And with that said, this is going to be the first round for Newers to be on defense. So we got to see him for a few rounds on attack, and now it's back onto defense. So we'll see how he decides to play this. Picking up the thorn so far. The attacking players going uh, Osa and Finca, of course. The LMG is just too crazy. All right, so right now the attackers are a little bit split up. Looks like Rub might be rotating over to Eclipse, but they are pretty spread apart right now. I feel like it'd be a really, really bad idea to split up. Um, normally, I'd say it would be a good thing if they tried to split up and tried to take take Newers on from two different angles. Um, but honestly, I feel like they kind of need to push together here and just refrag. I feel like if they had three people, maybe it would make sense for like one person to push the back. And then the other two push together. But in this instance, I feel like they should push together. Which is what they're going to start to do. Eclipse deciding to use one of his grenades on the hatch. I feel like he should have gone 6 that. But uh, for some reason, I feel like he just doesn't have the gone 6. So. <laughs> Looks like Rub is actually using a vertical grip on Osa. This guy clearly does not watch my YouTube videos. You're supposed to be running the angle grip on that gun. That is the second nade from Eclipse down. So they are nadeless now. The first boost going out as well. So they only have two boosts left. They were still full HP, so those nades were pretty useless overall. I think they destroyed one thorn trap, and that was about it. Running out sight now. Looks like Eclipse is going to try to push Freezer. It looks like they both might try to push Freezer here. Honestly, you know what their best option is here, the Copper players? They should have Rub take out the shield and just walk at Newers, and then have Eclipse just with the LMG and just never stop shooting behind him. Honestly, that's their best option. Like, if I were these two players right now, I'd say, listen, Rub, walk forward, take out the shield, and don't stop moving. Just walk towards them. Guaranteed that's their best option. Honestly, not much is happening right now. They're kind of stalling out, but they don't have the time to stall out right now. 55 seconds left on the clock. Newer is going to light up Finca. Actually going to down him. He should be able to Finca boost himself up, but he actually just used his boost. He's not going to be able to. That's going to be Finca being taken out. Now 1v1, Rub versus Newers. And Newers is going to take him out. That is 
what round four to newers that is a match point as well all righty newers going top floor now gonna be picking up the malusi very great option for a 1vx scenario i was actually just talking to him and my editor dapper in the discord about how good um malusi is and how every time i'm the one like in the 1vx situation in these videos i'm always preaching how good malusi is in these videos and how it's like such a meme and here i am doing it again <laughs> because i just love malusi uh with that being said rub's gonna hop off of the osa and pick up the yana instead eclipse gonna stick that finca and newers with him winning downstairs is going to be forced to go top floor now looks like he might be trying to spawn peak the master door as well but i believe both attackers are going to be spawning junkyard so he's not going to get anything with the spawn peak unfortunately the so newers is actually deciding to leave site right now and with that finca is actually taking z hall now i don't think that she knows that newers is right here that's going to be finca dead that's also bomb uh now rub does have site control but he does not have the diffuser so newers really has to sit here he's got a banshee on top white stairs so all he's got to do is sit here wait for the banshee and then swing he does have uh no impact grenades left rub does have two grenades so he could try to nade this here which he's gonna try to do Nade going out gonna take out that malusi not gonna be able to take out newers though that is gonna be game one going to newers the pro wins out the 1v2 versus the two copper players gg to rub and eclipse and also uh vocals for coming out i still don't know how to pronounce your name i am so sorry thank you to these guys for coming out taking the time to record with us and we're going to move on to the bronze game Alrighty, guys we are starting off on clubhouse for our second game we got the two bronze players in the lobby saxophone and pack watch they're going to be starting on defense. Looks like they're going to head to the CCTV room for the first site. Newer is going to be picking up that jackal. And yeah, see how this goes for them. A little interesting thing to note really quickly is I find it like sort of interesting that both of these bronze players decided to go anti-denial operators when it's highly unlikely that Newers would actually bring any sort of hard breach gadget uh, or operator. So they've got a lot of denial. I think the mute's cool because Newers does only have two drones. And if they play the jammers properly, I do think the jammers would play a big part in the rounds. We saw last game, uh, Newers, I wouldn't say relied on the drones, but he used them to his advantage quite well. So uh, I, I could definitely see that being a problem for him. But it doesn't really seem like he's placing the jammers for drones. And they actually have, like, really not reinforced a lot of the site. Like, the, the wall to Khan right there is actually soft. Uh, and I believe the rafters walls are also soft. And Mew has two jammers in his pocket. So it seems like kind of a waste of utility, if you ask me. And uh, I wouldn't really be trying to use the SMG-11 against a guy like Neuer's, um if my aim was not that good. But we, anyways, we'll... Uh, See how it works for him. Maybe the shotgun will prove to be the weapon he needed. I don't know. With that being said, Zach's phone is very far off site right now. Headed all the way downstairs into bar right now. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Leaving pack watch all alone on site. Newer seems to be droning downstairs. Um, no, honestly, I'm, I have no idea what he's doing down here. Looks like he's going to try to take garage. I think he might have heard Zaxophone in garage. And that's why he was holding his cam. Ooh, this time it could be really bad. That's one down. That's good. There goes Zaxophone. So it's a 1v1 now. Nearer's nose bandits down. He's not even too worried about securing the kill. He just wants to get this 1v1 on the pack watch. He does have two nades and they have no ADSs. So he could try to throw some nades in here. I'm pretty sure he knows there's one playing on this window or at least close to it. So we'll see if he decides to nade this or not. Pack watch is in a pretty good spot, all things considered. Newers really has no way of getting into server unless he decides to go through red or if he hops to this window. And if he hops to the window, Packwatch is sitting right here with a shotgun. And that would basically just one pump Newers. T4 going out. Luckily, that did not make a rotate for Newers. That could have been a very bad play by Packwatch. A little bit of a stalemate going on. Newers still has one nade. He could throw another nade and decide to hop in, which looks like he might be wanting to do here. Doing a lot of damage to Newers, but not quite able to take out the rounds. Very well played by Newers here. 
I was getting a little bit worried for him when he got shotgun through that wall. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I got a little bit worried for him. I think I didn't get to see what HP was at, but definitely feel like uh, it was pretty low after that shotgun blast. All right, round two, we have the bronze players deciding to go downstairs. Uh, interesting selection of weapons coming out from Packwatch right now. Gonna be picking up the bandit shotgun. Like I said, maybe the shotguns is what he needs. I don't know. Shotguns, uh, they are pretty good. I don't know how good they are in clubhouse. Um, personally, I would have, I would have picked the MP7. That's just me. But uh, he, act he actually almost won the round last round with the shotgun, so we can't count him out just yet. Newer is actually deciding to go Maverick. That is interesting. Because he's going Maverick, I want to say he's probably gonna push, um, dirt. We'll see what he decides to do. I doubt he tries to get any hatches. Um, wow, there is a bandit charge going down on the hatch. That is that is interesting. Yeah, I'm guessing Newers is going to decide to go through dirt. I just don't see him mapping any hatches. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do, though. Wow, that is a fucking crazy shot. Oh, my God. All right, well, that is bandit down. Poor guy just got actually sent to the opener. Welcome to the Newers R6 montage. Good lord. All right, it is already a 1v1. Saxophone has no clue that Newers just, just mapped into dirt right now. One of the walls to dirt was actually soft as well. Someone decided to run all the way to dirt just to reinforce one wall and run away. I guess that's bronze for you. <laughs> um, Saxophone just trying to figure out what happened to poor Packwatch. He just does not seem to know what's going on right now. Newer is, has already taken dirt. I don't know if he knows it, but the site is actually completely clear. He could just walk in and plant right now. Uh, Saxophone is just completely given up sight. Looks like Newer is going to drone out. Probably going to see that the site's clear and go for a plant here. I'm not sure what Saxophone is doing. He needs to get the site really quickly if he wants to have a shot at winning this round here. Seems like he's a little bit lost. Not sure where Newer's could be at. Looks like his teammate's giving him some Z-pings. That Thorn Trap going off is going to give us some audio. He should know that he's coming from the left because that's where the audio came from, but he's not going to know. Looking the wrong way, Nero's going to swing the hallway and pick up an easy frag. That is round two going to the pro player. Very unfortunate for Packwatch, I can't lie. That uh, that was rough. Can we get an F in the comments for Packwatch or like a rest in peace for Packwatch? Good Lord. Somebody pray for this, man. All right. I actually, I just want to say something about these frost mats. I don't understand why people place them. I, I guess it wouldn't, would it be considered vertically? I, I don't know how you describe how he just placed that frost mat, but I really don't understand why people do that. Because if you go up close to the window as an attacker, you can actually just look straight down and see the edge of the frost mat and just shoot it. And I see this a lot with frost players. I don't know, like for me personally, I'm thinking about it and I just don't see an advantage for it, placing them how he is. Yeah, like this, like you can just see this from the window. Like it's so, so easy to shoot that. You really got to be careful how you're placing these traps. Anyways, though, a uh, little rant over. The defender's going to go to gym this time, actually. Nura's going to stick that uh, Maverick. Maybe he thought they were going back downstairs. Who knows? Hackwatch also sticking the shotgun, which is an interesting choice to do back-to-back -back rounds. To be fair, he did get smoked up last round and wasn't even able to have even a fair shot at a gunfight poor guy um so we'll see if uh, maybe he can pull something off with it this round saxophone is gonna go down unfortunate for him pack watch coming to refrag right now he does have the shotgun he's in a pretty good spot i can't lie it looks like newers might miss drone him here ah uh, not quite the so newers does know where he's at although pack watch still is in a pretty decent spot considering he does have that shotgun Newers knows this, gonna fall off, doesn't want to take a close range gunfight with a guy who has a shotgun. Gonna rotate off, probably gonna try to take maybe Guzzi Balk or go through window, probably window, and just take sight. You gotta watch for these frost mats though. It would be devastating to see him lose a round <laughs> to like one of these awful frost mats. Backwatch is currently in lounge. So Newers once again has free reign of the site. I don't think he quite knows it. Taking his time. He's still got a minute 20, he's got plenty of time. I'm not sure if he has another drone. It looks like he has no drones right now. So he's going to have to go in blind. So Packwatch really does have quite an advantage here. If he plays this correctly, he actually could pull off with this round. 
Nate coming out from New Riz. Probably going to try to get rid of that Frost Mat so he doesn't have to look down when he hops in. Aquatch just holding still. He really doesn't have to do anything. He has no C4, which is unfortunate. But all he has to do is wait. Time is on his side. 45 seconds left for New Riz to plant or get the kill here. He does that bomb. Great positioning by Packwatch, honestly. I mean, if Newers pushes this hallway, it's going to be a rough fight for him as he does have this shotgun close range. Newers might want to try to bait out a plant here, which is exactly what he's going to try to do. Not so great of a spot for Packwatch anymore. He just needs to be patient. 20 seconds left. He's got to force the plant here. Oh, this is really bold by Packwatch. Really bold. Oh my god. This is scary. Packwatch pulling it off with the shotgun. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. We love to see it. Oh, and the drop shot too. Not Newer's getting styled on by a bronze with a shotgun. Oh no. We hate to see it. <laughs> well played to him. Uh, once again, this is going the same as it did for the copper game. Someone clutches up on the on the third rounds, uh, saving the you know, two players from Newer's going to match point. So well played to him. Well played a pack watch. That shotgun uh proven me wrong. I definitely thought <laughs> I definitely thought it wasn't gonna work out for him, but hey, he shut me up. So with that being said, uh it is time for Newers to go on defense. Gonna be picking up Malusi, headed to that downstairs bomb site. The two attackers gonna be picking up Ash and Flores so far. We'll see if they decide to repick. Looks like, yep, they are both gonna repick as soon as I name off their operators. Switching on to Zof and Amaru. Hopefully they stick onto those two. So I don't have to re-say what ops they are. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes for them. All right, so the attackers are pretty split up right now. Once again, they switched their operators. Zach's phone going to be bringing the fuse. I'm not sure Packwatch was on the IQ. I think he was on Amaro. So they switched their operators three times. Um, they are a little bit split up right now. Uh, I was saying they do need to be playing together. Uh, I was saying this last game, they should be playing together. That way... Um, they're able to refrag each other. Now, with this being said, Packwatch is joining site right now. Newers is offsite. He's just now getting back. Now, Packwatch already has control of dirt. Going to destroy the first banshee here. Newers is going to hear that. Zach's someone going to try to push upstairs. Maybe try to place a vertical. The vertical play could be huge here. If he's able to get a fuse charge down in this hatch here, get Newers away from the dirt. But too late. He's already pushing the dirt. That's going to be the first kill going on to Packwatch. IQ going down. Zach's phone going to be picking up the kitchen hatch, trying to pop some cluster charges down through the floor. Probably not going to get anything with that, though. Getting his feet destroyed right now. Actually, he really didn't take a lot of damage there. I'm not I'm not too sure what happened. I think Numerous maybe hit the metal bar we see right there. So Zach's phone definitely has the HP advantage, and he definitely has the gun advantage, but he does not have the game sense. He does not know that there's an angle there that Newers can actually see him from. Another cluster charge going out could actually damage Newers with where he placed it. Zach's phone being one HP now. He, Zach's phone should be able to kill Newers in one or two bullets, though. Both players about one shot right now. Kind of a stalemate. Nothing is really happening. Nuru's going to hear the push down from main stairs here. There's going to be a Banshee there as well. Zach's phone throwing out some LMG shots right now. Nuru's not looking to challenge the LMG. Going to fall back to site. Hoping he pushes back the kitchen, which he's actually doing right now. Uh, no, he's actually going third floor. All right. All good. He's got a minute. Going to try to drone out where Nuru's is. Not a bad plan. Now, unfortunately... Zaxman wasn't able to use his cluster charges to clear out any of this utility. He could have cluster charged above main stairs and actually gotten this uh, Banshee destroyed, which would have made his life a lot easier here. Uh, but he did not do so. Now, if Nuru swings here, honestly, he's getting a free kill because Zaxman is 1 HP and he is peeking very wide. I mean, he is in the middle of this door. All he's got to do is wait for the Banshee. Nuru is playing it smart. He knows he's got time on his side. He knows the Banshee's on the door. All he has to do, the second the Banshee gets hit, Nuru's is going to swing. There it is. Easy kill for Nuru's. Played it perfectly. All right, so we're on what could be the very final rounds for this specific matchup here. Nuru is actually going to decide to go Cav, trying to meme on him a little bit with the Suppressor 2. I actually love to see this loadout. I was actually, I was recording a video that I ended up scrapping with Chester um, where we were picking each other's attachments. And one of the things I had to do was Cav Suppressor. And it's actually a lot of fun. This gun is like so cool with the suppressor on it. 
Anyways, though, uh, interesting bomb site choice by New as well. Gonna decide to go bar. Not something you see every day. Little spawn peak coming out by New Riz, but unfortunately for him, both of the attackers are gonna spawn kennels, so he's not gonna get anything with that specific spawn peak. Gonna rotate upstairs now. Only two drones left for the attackers, so that is unfortunate for them. Oh, pack watch with another shotgun. Okay, this shotgun I support. I love this shotgun. The SGCQB is the actual goat of shotguns. If you guys watch my gameplay videos, you already know this shotgun is nasty. So we'll we'll see if pack watch can maybe pop out another kill with the shotgun here. That would be quite interesting to see. Now I'm a little bit worried for them right now. Newers Newers knows where both of them are right now. Basically, he, if he impacts that door, he could he could have killed both of them. Pack watch gonna rush in a bar here. Oh, this could be bad for Newers. Oh, this could be bad for Newers. This could be a wall bang here. Backwatch gonna drone. Drone's getting shot out. Gridlock just trying to plant in the smoke right now. Oh, Packwatch with another shotgun kill. I told you that SGCQB is just too different. Newer's gonna down him in one shot, but that shotgun is just too good. Gonna be three to two right now. Packwatch carrying for the bronze team right now, saving them from, you know, ending this game. Wow, actually, I actually cannot believe the shotguns from Packwatch are going this well. Packwatch went from getting completely smoked when he got one tapped in stock to just smoking on Newers right now. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, after that loss, Newers gonna maybe stop trolling a little bit. I think he was trolling just just a small bit with the Cav in the bar choice last round. He's gonna decide to go top floor this time onto the gym bedroom, hopping off the Cav for the Thorn. Looks like pack watch uh oh actually gonna hop off twitch i was gonna say he might be sticking that sgc qb i actually was hoping he would looks like he might try to go amaru looks like the bronze players might be communicating some form of a rush here considering um pack watch is on amaru and zach's phone just switched on to the lion so they could be trying to pull off some sort of uh, amaru rush here which could be interesting could be cool to see I want to see if Packwatch has a shotgun. Of course he does. This absolute menace. I love this guy. This is my type of player right here, man. This is my type of player. Oh yeah, go for the go for the logi drop. Oh yeah, go for it. Oh yes, Packwatch. Let's see it. Oh, the lion skin's going out too. Newers knows where he's at. Oh, he's hitting a drop shot on him, doing a little bit of damage to Newers, but Packwatch getting smoked out. You gotta respect that peak coming out from Packwatch. He just quick peek drop shots it with a shotgun. You have to respect it, man. I mean, this guy, this guy's the gnarliest bronze player I, I've ever seen. All up to Zaxophone now. This could be the very final round if Zaxophone cannot clutch up. He really needs to. He really, really needs to. Packwatch clutched up two rounds. It's his time to shine now. Two minutes left on the board. He's got plenty of time. He just saw Newers. I, I mean, I saw him. I don't know if he saw him. Uh, it looks like Newers just took Jim Bedroom, and I don't think this guy knows. This poor guy. Oh, this poor guy. GG's. Nero's going to win 4-2. Shout out to Packwatch. That guy's crazy. Got to be the fun... The, the, Got to be the most entertaining game of the video so far. That was awesome. Alrighty, it's bank time, baby. We got the uh, two silver players here. Goat Billy and Sea Baking. We're going to have Nero starting on attack again. I know he's been on attack a lot these games. Uh, for the past three games, he has been on attack. We're going to start him on defense next round. Or next game, I promise. Once he's versus the golds, we're going to have him start on defense. The reason I'm having him stay on attack is generally speaking, the game is a little bit more defender sided. Um, so I don't want to give him any more advantages than he needs. <laughs> like he, he really doesn't need any sort of advantages when he's against these lower ranking players. We're going to have him switch over to defense uh, next game. And we'll probably have him just go back and forth uh, from attack to defense from game to game. Uh, but yeah, with that said, I, I just, I didn't want to give him, uh, any, you know, any advantages over the opponents. So trying to make it a little bit harder for him. All right. So first round, we've got Goat Billy and Sea Baking going downstairs with, uh, Thorn and Elysian respectfully. Uh, we've got Newers picking up Jackal. Not sure where he's choosing to spawn just yet. Interested to see how he decides to push this. Looks like Goat's going to come up and get the hatches. Wise move. That way Newers can't just shotgun and drop. Very nice. Pretty basic hold by the defender so far. We will see how Nurus chooses to attack it. All right, so Nurus decided to switch off the Jackal and actually pick up the Finca. 
Not a bad choice. Gonna go uh, towards dirt, it seems like. Gonna push server. The, how are the defenders looking for this? Well, no one's watching server right now. Goat is throwing some questionable thorn traps on site. This is a very interesting shield, I must say. And sea baking is watching garage, which actually is not a bad idea. I'm happy that sea baking is watching garage because I was sort of expecting newers to push that. With that being said, newers is in sight and they're both dead. Wow. That is just talent right there. You, you cannot teach that. I mean, that round was over in 15 seconds. <laughs> All right. So with that devastating loss downstairs, the attack or the defenders, silver players are going to decide to rotate upstairs and choose CEO. Um, C baking, running around in circles. Not really sure what he's doing. I'm not even sure if he knows what he's doing. Still going to try to reinforce the site a little bit. New is going to go back on that Finca. Clearly working out well for him. From last round let's see how he decides to attack the top floor all right so it looks like goat might be trying to do a spawn peek here this is this is bold i mean i can't lie this is bold unfortunately for him news is going to spawn the opposite side of this street so he's not going to be able to get him with this specific peak uh if newers does decide to go near those windows he might pre-aim that and get an easy kill but looks like he's going to decide to repel up Goat gonna fall off of it anyways quite the interesting position coming out of goat not not where i would sit personally sea baking uh checking out cams new is going to be heading onto the roof throwing his drone over to skylight i feel like he might just drop this skylight to be honest with you and wow can we can we appreciate how like perfect that throw was i mean that throw was literally perfect to the inch so this lesion could cause uh Nures a little bit of a problem gonna slow him down at least a little bit he sees where both, or I, I guess he sees where Chonk is at. He doesn't quite know where Legion's at just yet. I feel like Newers might try to repel here. And that is just devious. Yeah, he's definitely going to repel. Wow, this is just disrespectful. It, Goat could get a free kill here. Goat could get a free kill. I, I don't think he has any idea. This poor guy. Get out of there, Goat. Get out of there. I'm worried for him. Oh, sea baking with a crazy shot. Hell yeah. Nice shot by sea baking. Oh my God. You got to give him respect. That was a tight shot. That was a tight shot. You got to give it to him right there. That was a nice shot coming out from sea baking. Well played to him. All right. With a quite successful defense hold on CEO, the defender is going to be forced to go back down to CCTV lockers. See if they can hold this a little bit better than they did before. I think Goat needs to have those Alicia Mines uh, place a little bit better than he did. As Nurus was able to just freely walk into sight without anyone knowing. They're going to have the mirror window looking towards the door that Nurus had rushed last round. Which is a good thing. Hopefully that stops Nurus from just being able to crouch walk in without any of the defenders knowing. And wow, both the defenders are really struggling for this drone. There we go. All right. One drone left by Nurus. He is a Yana though, so that's not too big of a deal for him. He is spawning over by parking front, so he may choose to push garage this time. And with uh, Sea Baking or Go, oh, I'm not sure which one of them was holding garage before, but they are not holding garage right now. So if Nurus goes fast enough, he could have a free uh, push on a garage here. I mean, they're even still reinforcing. Looks like he's not going to rush it though. Going to choose the drone, which is probably the smart play. One mirror window in the pocket from sea baking. Personally, I'd be putting it on that garage wall if I were him. The defenders are a little bit stacked up here. Choosing to spread out. Good positioning by both of them, I feel like. Nero's is pushing up to the garage right now. Go needs to push up here, honestly. Because uh, if Nero's peaks and sea baking dies here, it is just sea baking. Go is not in a position to refrag right now. Yeah, I would love to see Goat push up to this window at the very least. That way, that way he's at least remotely close to the fight. So if Sea Baking does fall here, uh, he is able to refrag. You can see they're a little bit afraid of him though. Like Mira cho chose to push back from the angle she was holding. So they are a little bit worried about taking fights with the newers here. He's just taking his time though. Minute 40 left. He has no need to push. Plenty of time. So interesting, I'm seeing Goat hold this cam instead of actually like holding the door. Um, I'm not sure if that's because he's nervous or what it is, but to me it shows he's nervous because he's deciding to like indirectly hold this door with a camera instead of actually ADSing and holding it with his gun. 
Not to mention, he has three goo mines in his pocket right now. He's about to have a fourth. So he really needs to be throwing these traps. I mean, three goo mines can really slow Newers down here. Who is very, very fastly pushing up. Not going to work though. Sea baking. Nice shot on the Newers. He just didn't clear his corners properly. Easy kill for him. This has got to be the closest game so far. Or I guess the best game for the two players. Uh, we have not seen... Any of the two players, uh, whether it be the bronzes or the coppers, win two rounds uh, like this and have the actual map lead. So, well played to these two silver plays. You got to give it to them. All right, so this is going to be Newer's first round on defense here on bank. He's going to go Valkyrie. Going to go to the downstairs bomb site that we just saw the Silvers win. And looks like Goat's going to be picking up that Finca and Sea Baking. Has already lost his drone, but he's going to be picking up that Nomad. Looks like they're probably going to stick these operators. Go. Good setting up his drone towards top blue. This could be the entry point for him. We'll see what they choose to do here. All right, so Newer is checking the cans pretty early, just trying to figure out where the attackers are pushing from. We can see for ourselves, though, they are actually going to be pushing in from open area. Sea baking dripped out right now with the uh, ARX black guys. Hell yeah. Wow, so Finca just uh, gone sick the hatch open. Finca also dripped out with this... Uh, Black ice on the gun. I totally forgot what that gun is called for some reason. No LMG though, which is interesting. That's uh, rare. Looks like Newers is uh, trying to flank right now. There is an air jab on the door, so he's got to be a little bit careful. It, it would be disastrous if he were to hit this air jab. Goat would surely have a free kill. I don't think Goat hears him though, and he's going to walk straight into Newers' fire. Easy kill for Newers. 1v1 now. Newers checking cans. He sees exactly where Sea Baking is at. This has been the best player on the silver team so far. He's gotten both the kills on the Newers in this game he's getting the plant down looks like newers does not know about this the plant's got to go down 40 seconds left if newers can just or if uh sea bacon could just hold on for another 35 seconds he's gonna be able to win this round newers narrowly missing sea baking as he rotates into the dirt tunnel oh oh sea baking with a nice wall bang onto newers gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we are on match point for the Silvers right now. This could be it. This could be the end of the video. In three minutes, I could be giving you guys the outro right now. Like I said, if Newers loses a single map at any point in this entire video, the video is done. If Newers loses even one round in these next two rounds, he, he lost. It's over. The whole video is done. I'm giving you guys the outro. It's a little bit scary. I can't lie. I expected uh, Newers to get all the way to the champs, um, which I think he still might. He's got to be a little bit careful, though. He cannot troll. He has to, like, actually try his hardest right here and pull this back. Seat baking is giving him a run for his money right now. I cannot lie to you. <laughs> all right. I told Newers to lock in, and he says he has a few words. Got it. Understood. Uh, with that being said... Uh, Goat, gonna be sticking onto that Finca. And Sea Baking, sticking onto that Nomad. Newers did go Alibi, and he went to the top floor CEO bombsite. Like I said, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I wanted this video to last a lot longer than it did. Maybe I shouldn't be nervous. I mean, it is Newers we're talking about here. And he is up against just two silver players. This should be light work for him. This should, this should not even be a problem for Newers at all. I think he's been trolling a little bit this game. Giving them a little bit of a chance. He has been smoking the other uh, players. He's given us an interesting game. But I can't lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous. I wanted this video to last uh, a lot longer than it may if he ends up losing this round. All right. So Goat's droning out Newers right now. Getting the Z pings on him. It would be so tragic if Sea Baking were to wall bang and, and kill him right here. It would be just so tragic. Goat is still on the roof now. Just doing some reconnaissance right now. Giving Sea Baking some calls. Not a bad idea considering Sea Baking has all three kills for the silver team right now. Sea Baking doing exactly what I said would be a little bit scary. He's just starting to pop shots off through the wall. Nero's with the first kill to go. Unfortunate death onto him. It is just Sea Baking now in the 1v1. Minute 20 left. He's got plenty of time. He does not have bomb though. I'm not sure if Nero's knows that the bomb is down in stock right now. Sounds like he does hear the Nomad pushing up. He's going to be trying to hold off this angle. 
D making doing the same. He hears Newers. They're both just trying to hold this angle. You can see Newers nodding up and down. He knows exactly where he's at. D making gonna rotate off. Gonna try to push the marble staircase. Not trying to push the spiral staircase, it seems. He does have. Never mind. He does not have flashes. He had breach shards. Does not matter though. Newers winning out that round. Thank God. We're getting us closer to OT. One more round. One more round is OT. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that the game, the silver game, is going to OT. I am uh I'm very surprised. So Newers is gonna go downstairs this round, stick it onto that alibi. First drone getting shot out. That's gonna be C baking's drone destroyed. Go, gonna stick onto that Finca without the LMG. Honestly, I wonder. Go if you're watching this video, bro, let, let us know down in the comments. Be honest with us, dog. Are you running this gun only because you have black ice on it? Be honest with us, dog, because we all know the LMG is far superior. Wow, look at the speed and momentum coming from sea baking right now, just flying into the top floor. Newers is in the basement, though, so not really going to encounter anything up here. Newers looks like he's going to be trying to head upstairs a little bit. I'm a little bit worried because Go is holding this door. Newers is going to be checking cams right now. I'm a little bit worried that Newers is going to walk through this. Oh, Goat missed. Oh, my God. Thank God for Newers that Goat missed right there because that could have been the end of the video. That that right there could have been the end of the video. Goat just holding that angle. With that being said, Sea Baking is in sight right now. Newers knows about it. Going to do a little bit of damage onto him. Looks like new or, uh, Sea Baking is around 60 health right now. Newers just looking for the last one. Goat is still third floor. Poor, Go poor Sea Baking. He is... Ball's deep in sight right now, fighting his demons, and his teammate is top floor, third floor, droning. A um, little bit rough. A little bit of a stalemate going on right now. C-Baking just holding. As he should, honestly. He just needs to stay alive. At this point, honestly, C-Baking just needs to stay alive and wait for Goat Billy to push down into sight with him. That's honestly the exact thing he should be doing. He's playing this perfectly. I can't lie to you. C-Baking's doing exactly what he should be doing. Newers as well, just holding still. He knows exactly what's going on here. He knows that D Baking is just waiting for his teammate to push in. So he's just going to play passive. Not playing to the trap. 55 seconds. They do have to get a plant down. Go does have the bomb. Looks like C Baking is joining him in through server. So C Baking is going to be joining him in here. I'm not sure that Newers knows that um, Goat is in sight now. Goat is actually planning without any cover right now. Goat's going to get an easy kill onto Goat. That's the planner dead. Newers knows exactly where Sea Baking's at. Gonna fall back into server. 30 seconds left. Gonna shotgun a little hole so you can see the bomb. Great angle by Newers here. All he's gonna do is hold. No flashbangs from Sea Baking. He does have one air jab though. 20 seconds left. Gonna hop on the drone. He's the hole that's there. I don't think he saw Newers though. He missed drone Newers. He has no clue he's there. He has no clue he's here. Gonna push up. Easy kill for Newers. We're into OT. Woo. I'm a little bit relieved. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm telling you, my heart sank right there when Nearest walked through that top blue door and Goat was holding the angle onto the doorway. Man, I got to tell you, if Goat did not lose that gunfight, it would have been wraps. I mean, that that was Goat's kill 100 million percent. He should have won that gunfight a million times over. So Nearest is honestly very fortunate, very lucky. That goat with that kill. All right, Nero's going top floor here onto the CEO bomb site. Goat Billy going to be switching off that Finca finally, picking up the Jackal, and C Baking actually choosing to bring the Amaru this time. So we'll see, possibly an Amaru rush. I'm not sure. See what he's got in store for us. All right, so not much is really happening right now. Goat Billy's actually in this in the building. C Baking, I I can't tell where he's at. I think he's outside site window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sea Baking's right outside the site window. He might just try to Amaru in. Now, Newers isn't actually in the site right now. So if Sea Baking sees this, which he is, he's seeing that the site is clear. He might decide just to Amaru in. And he does have the diffuser. So he could just instantly plant if he'd really choose to. Uh, with that being said, Goat Billy's going to rotate upstairs, as I think he should. Because if Sea Baking is going to Amaru in right here, um, what do you call it? Goat needs to be in a position to refrag. So, yeah, Sea Baking made a mistake of droning the site for a total of, like, 45 seconds. He, like, droned the site, like, five times and saw it was clear for, like, 40 seconds straight and just never acted on it. 
Wall bangs coming out from both both sides here. No hits. Minute 20. Nothing really happening still. Goat's going to be getting some footprints here, so that's going to ping Newers. It's like uh, C Bake is going to rotate over to the spiral stairs. He sees that ping. Not sure if Newers knows that he's actually rotating to the staircase right now. Not much happening though. All right, easy kill for Newers. That's going to be C Baking down. That is also the diffuser. Top spiral. So I'll have to go Billy. Go Billy really needs to get a kill here. This is his time to shine. Bring us to 4 4. Come on, Goat. You got this. So something I've noticed with like lower ranking players is they're like very, very, very afraid to peek or like really push anything. And I think it's kind of just a lack of game sense. They're not really sure what to do, where to go, where to expect anyone. So they're kind of hesitant to push anything. Um, but with that being said, there's only 15 seconds left and he does not have time to play passive like that. Getting the footprints is great. He knows where Nuru's is now. He's not acting off the information though. He's got to take the scanner off and push in. Ooh, narrowly missing Nura's head right there. Gonna do a little bit of damage, but Nura's gonna lock that out. Very well played for him. Bringing him on to match point for the first time this game. Nice shots. We are in OT. Nura's is gonna be back on to attack. He's actually gonna pick Amaru. I wonder if he's gonna Amaru rush in. That would be really funny. Um, with that being said, uh, baking going back on that Tachaka. We saw him get a nice shot with that earlier. Go Billy back on the Legion. The defender's going to go top floor. It looks like Nuras might actually consider pushing these windows here. He's got a drone in sight. He sees B is clear. There's actually no one playing sight right now. The sight is completely free for Nuras to just fly in through. He's seeing that, so he's probably going to Amar straight through the window right now. Yeah, so he's Nuras is doing exactly what C baking should have done last round. He droned the sight, he saw it's clear, and he took it. D baking had drone the site for like 45 50 seconds and just never acted on it and then Newers retook site. Newers droned it, he held it for 10 seconds, saw it was clear, and took it. Sneak it up on C baking right now. Easy kill for him. One left, it's just Goat. Goat has not gotten a single kill yet. This could be his round. He could be bringing us to 4 4. Two minutes left, so Newers has so much time. So much time. Go is holding two Legion Mines right now. He's really got to do a better job of placing these cube Mines down. Legion's very powerful in these 1v1s, but he's really not using his gadget. Oh no, he might be running straight into Nura's fire. Nice shot by Nura's. Easy 5-3 victory for him. GG to these guys. Thank you so much for them to pl for playing. And that is uh, the silver game done. On to the golds. Oh, you had me worried there yeah, for bro. a second. <laughs> bro, those kids actually had me, had me like... I had to try a little hard. I can't All right, we're loading into Chalet for our gold game. I've got my editor and his friends as the uh, two gold players. I've been informed that my editor and his friends have actually went in and dry ran Chalet. So this may be a tough game for, for newers. They were talking a lot of smack. The two gold players were uh, saying how they were going to smoke newers and how they weren't ready for... Their strats that they just dry ran. So this this could be the hardest game for Nuras. We'll see. Um, <laughs> with that being said, the golds are actually going to start on attack this time. And Nuras is going to start on defense. I think the golds had some strats for defense. So that's kind of going to throw a wrench into their whole thing. And we're going to put them on attack. And this will be the first time that Nuras starts on defense. So we're going to try to switch it up a little bit. Keep things nice and fresh. And we will see how these players... Uh, Choose to attack. All right, so we got Newers going master bedroom first. He's going to be picking up a zombie. Looks like uh, Dapper, who is editor man and hard hat guy, are going to be picking up uh, Glass and Ying. So I am very interested to see what they plan to do with this. I can only imagine Dapper has smokes. Remember, Dapper, I'm going to refer to him as Dapper the whole game. Dapper is editor man. He's my editor. Um, I can only imagine he's going to be running smokes. I wonder if hard hack guy's gonna be running smokes. I know glass has nades. I wonder if Dapper's gonna be bringing the smoke grenades for hard hack guy 
and he keeps the nades i don't know i'm interested i'm interested to see no all right hard hat guy has smokes and dapper dapper also has smokes so four smoke grenades coming out and remember glass can see through smoke grenades so we will see how numerous chooses to react to this trying to spawn peak no one's there though looks like they might be trying to do a solar take hard hat guy is outside of solar right now so is dapper they might try to ying rush in through solar window i'm not sure just yet i got a gone six i'm what are they doing i'm really not sure what's going on here on the attack all right so it looks like the two attackers are actually going to start rotating over to library side which i think is a good idea i think them pushing from library over is probably their best bet i was a little bit worried with them trying to push straight in through uh solar window I, I was gonna be a little bit worried if they tried just repelling in the window so thank god they're rotating over to library side that gonna be joining out hard hack guy in through the map who's actually just holding an angle newers is ready for this though he shot the drone and he's actually gonna start pushing up and trying to deny this entry from dapper who just hopped in dapper has no clue that newers is right here dapper throwing some shots out through the wall with the lmg he's gonna go down to newers Nice shot by him. That's going to be the bomb down. All up to hard hat guy now, who's also inside a library. I don't think that Newers actually knows he's in library. Minute 20 left. Not much has happened so far. Hard hat guy choosing to not pick up the diffuser, which is an interesting choice. He's going to go straight for the frag, I guess. Going to throw out some smoke grenades, it seems. All right. I wouldn't have thrown two in the same spot. One, one would do it. One is good enough. I don't think Newers knows that it's glass though. Oh, and Hard Hat Guy's gonna pick up the first round. I, I don't think Newers knew it was a glass. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I don't think Hard Hat Guy had really shot. And if he did, he had suppressor. So Newers may not have heard that it was a glass. So when he saw the smoke grenade, he probably went to just a wall bang. And yeah, glass to see, see through the smoke. So first round, go to the gold players. Yeah, the double smoke. The double smoke was interesting. I got to give it to him. I, I was hating on the double smoke, but it turned out to work for him. And Newers is not having any of this glass business. He's going to hop on Warden. He's not taking any risk with any of that smoke BS again. He's also going to choose to go dining, which is an interesting sight. You don't see dining too often. Not, not in ranked, at least. Maybe in pro league. Not in ranked, though. So we'll see how the two golds respond to that. See how they react. All right, so this round, we're not going to see a glass or a Ying or anything of the sorts. We've got an Amaro. We've got an Ash. So Numerous went Warden for nothing. Although he does have two pretty good guns and a C4. So honestly, can't complain about going Warden whatsoever. With that being said, the two attackers look to be pushing from the cliffside spawn. Might potentially possibly be going in through front door. We shall see. Hard hat guy going straight in, flying in through the big window into master right now. Newers still just holding on to the site. Dapper's going to try to push directly in through dining. This could be a distraction for hard hat guy to actually push down solar. Newers going to get a nice kill onto Dapper. So one left. That's going to be hard hat guy who's currently pushing down the solar stairs. Newers knows exactly where he's at. Just holding the angle on the stairs. Waiting for him to push down. Looks like he might be a little bit unsure of where he's at. But he's just pre-aiming the common angles here. He was in a pretty good position, low key. Oh, maybe not so much anymore. Maybe not so much anymore. The second round going to the golds. Hard hat guy is just too different. Newers can't handle hard hat guy. Oh my god. Wow. Unfortunate. I mean, honestly, I I hate I hate to I hate to say it. I'm not hating on hard hat guy at all. I want to preface this, okay? With saying I'm not hating on hard hat guy. But hard hat guy may be just so bad. That newers just can't predict him, man. Because, like, if that's me, if I'm newers right there, if it's been so long and hard hat guy hasn't made a single noise, right, I'm not expecting anyone to be on those stairs. Who who just who just crouches on those stairs for, like, 50 seconds and doesn't move? I would never expect that. <laughs> so you got to give it to him. Try, looks like newers is going to be going on to a bar gaming. And it looks like he's actually reinforcing and making some holes. He's gotten mute. So he's going to be able to set the site up a little bit. This might be the first time we've actually seen Newers set the site up a little bit. Uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like the 
extent that we've seen him set the side up has been like banshees on Malusi, and that's about it. Or maybe like placing some alibis down. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is not like an elaborate site setup by any means whatsoever. Um, but it's maybe possibly the first time we've really seen him reinforce and make holes. So Dapper just called. Dapper's actually got the boss here right now. Hard hat guy flying in with the Amaru again. Dapper is going in with so much momentum and speed right now. Chris is ready for it though. Just hold an angle. I'm not sure what he's looking at here. It would be tragic. Absolutely tragic if Dapper were to kill Nerus here with the Bashi. I, I cannot lie to you. That would just be a catastrophe. Call. Another call right now. They're going to hear that Nerus is closed. Too bad he does not have a mute jammer he can walk into to deny that call. Bashi shots going out. Ooh, a little bit of damage going on to Dapper. Oh! Oh my god, the Bashi coming out. It is 3-0, ladies and gentlemen, for the goals right now. Wow, that is just talent. I mean, you just can't teach that. Numerous is in a rough spot right now. This is even more worrying than the last game versus the Silvers. I was getting a little bit nervous versus the Silver players, but wow, this is rough for Numerous. I cannot lie to you. Match point 3-0 for the goals. This has got to be the absolute most decisive win we have seen from any of the uh, two players so far in this video. If Nuris wants to stick around in this video, he's going to need to clutch up. He's got to win three rounds straight. He can't make even a single mistake. Not even one mistake. If he whiffs, makes a bad choice, doesn't clear an angle properly, doesn't drone properly... Pushes at the wrong time, peaks at the wrong time. If he does anything wrong at all, it is over. The whole video is over. And I would hate to see the video end this soon. Only to the golds. I know Nerus can get all the way to the champs. He's got to lock in here. He's going to be switching on to the Twitch from that Amaru. Like I said, Dapper and Hard Hat Guy, they did dry run this. Looks like they're doing relatively default strats here. Um, relatively, I will say this is, uh, not quite what you'd see in ranked, but okay. Um, we'll see how Nerus handles it. He is Twitch, so he is going to be able to open up these, uh, mirror windows with his shock drone. We'll see if he chooses to do that or not. Wow, that is a crazy angle, actually, right here. That is a crazy angle that hard hat, hat, hard hat guy has. Twitch drone is right here. Not going to be able to pop any of the mirror windows. Dapper is holding that off. This is going to be rough, bro. This is honestly going to be rough. I mean, these two mirror windows overlook both the bomb sites. From this one position, Dapper and Hard Hat Guy are able to completely stop both pushes into the bomb site. And Newers does not have any grenades. I think he only has one Twitch drone left. If that, he does. He has, he has one shock drone left to try to pop these mirror windows. His best bet is to go to this door here and try to get an angle. He sees Hard Hat Guy. That's an easy kill. Easy kill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nero's doing a lot of damage onto Dapper, but a lot of damage being put onto Nero's as well. A minute and 40 seconds left. One smoke going out. Nero's going to try to drone. He needs to get rid of these bear widows, but the, the Twitch drone is gone. Dapper's going to get down. It's a 1v1 now. It's all up the hard hat guy. Can he clutch it out? I hope not. I hope not. He does. He clutches it out. Oh my God. Hard hat guy and Dapper putting Nerus on fraud watch. Oh my God. 4-0 coming out from the golds. Flawless victory. Hold on. Let's go have a post game interview with Nerus. Nerus. What nah, happened? These kids man? are weird, bro. These kids are so weird. Oh my God, bro. I did not expect a 4-0. I'm going to be honest with you. Bro, those kids. No, no. I'm done. Those, <laughs> no, those kids are so weird. Oh my god. What do you think happened, man? What happened? No, the first two rounds I should have won. I just didn't like... I don't know. I just didn't play some more. But the, the second two... The mirror shit is actually crazy to see. <laughs> they definitely cooked that up for a minute, bro. I told you, bro. They were dry running that shit. That's not where I expected to end I this off. I just got 4 out, bro. <laughs> Four owed by golds. That is that Four is tragic. By golds, man. I mean, major player gets shit on. To be to be fair, like I don't know, they they hit some crazy shots. And, like that boss G shot, that that yeah, was a like, miracle. I can't do shit, bro. That was a miracle right there. That was all, all skypad right there. Oh yeah, skypad.
Link in the description. Get 10% Shock. off, Coach Shock. Well, GG's, I guess. Newer's pleasure playing against you. Fuck off, man.